module checklists have the ability to attach library files to help employees know what is expected of them. This is great for newer employees. They can get on the floor and going much faster than traditionally. We're going to go into our checklist section. So I'm going to go to lists and edit lists. Now the file will need to have been uploaded into the library prior to trying to attach it to a checklist. I'm going to come here to my opening checklist. And then here I have an action to disarm the save. I'm going to scroll down a little ways and you'll see our information library here where I can now choose a file. I can come into my SOPs or wherever the document may be held. I'm going to go into my cache handling and then I'm going to go ahead and select that file. Here you're able to see an image of what that file looks like. I have the ability to download it. I also, if I'm not sure where the file is housed, then I can actually type and it would pull up anything regarding the phrase you're searching for. I'm going to go ahead and select this item. And now this will be attached to the checklist. You have an additional option here of display attached file inline. Let me show you what the difference is by the default of not inline versus inline. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Jolt app. I'm going to come in here to my training with GIFs checklist and this is what an inline video would look like. Attaching a file, whether it's a picture, a video, a document, or a GIF, this is what it would look like inline. This is attached to the task so you can see the video and you can read the text as you go along. So this is what inline is referring to here. If you don't want this image or this document to be attached inline with the rest of the text of that item, what we can do is leave that deselected and then on the app you'll see I have an icon here. This is letting me know that there's an attached file, there's information for me to access. I would then click on the image and it will pull up whatever that image may be. So you have the ability to keep it embedded, it's a little more discreet, but if you're doing a new process or it's a new system and you want to have that inline, then you can make it inline. And of course, Jolt's flexible. You can come in and change it at any point. So you can turn it back off or turn it on if you choose.